is one of the wealthiest women in the country and one of the most powerful right here in Southern Nevada. Elaine Wynn, along with her ex-husband Steve, is credited with developing much of the Las Vegas Strip. But after one of the most expensive divorces in U.S. history in 2009, tonight Elaine Wynn talks exclusively to me about her life after Steve. In the high stakes of gaming, Elaine Wynn has hit the jackpot. Forbes estimates her wealth at $1.35 billion. Self-described as maternal, this billionaire has played a big role in the development of our city's most legendary hotels. From the Mirage to Treasure Island, Bellagio, Wynn, and Encore. For me, they're all like children. And each child bigger, grander, and more opulent. Steve likes to joke, and he calls Bellagio the practice hotel. But I think that... You know, they are all, in that sense, practice properties. But the one property Elaine says she had the most involvement with was the Wynn, the $2.7 billion five-star resort, which opened on her birthday in 2005. This is my new hotel. A casino executive once called the Wynn Resort the kind of place God would build if he had the money. As their signature luxury brand still rules the Las Vegas Strip, the Wynn's a Las Vegas power couple for 46 years are no longer married. Elaine remains the third largest shareholder of Wynn Resorts. They're still bonded by the family business, two daughters and seven grandchildren. Now that you're not with Steve, how has your life changed? I'm allowed to have more independence and more freedom. And you know, Steve, uh, it takes a lot of energy and deserves to have that kind of energy because he's high powered. But so is Elaine. On her own, single now and gorgeous at 73, Elaine sent the art world buzzing two years ago when she paid a jaw-dropping $142.4 million for this 1969 Francis Bacon triptych in one of the biggest auctions in history. To wrap my head around that on art, every time I would see a work by him, you know, all the bells and whistles would go off and I would... And I couldn't explain it. Her rationale for such a mega purchase? to one day share this masterpiece with the world. As the woman who's been dubbed the Queen of Las Vegas, Elaine Wynn is credited with bringing couture fashion to Las Vegas, donating $5 million to the Smith Center and countless charities. She's one of the founders of the After School All-Stars program to keep low-income kids safe. She's the governor appointed president of the Nevada Board of Education. President Obama chose her to be on the board of trustees of the Kennedy Center for Performing Arts. As she stays busy paving new paths in arts, education, and philanthropy, we had to ask. Would you ever consider getting remarried again? Unless, uh, I mean, I don't even know who I could mention that could walk in the door other than Sean Connery. Right. You know, there are very few men, I think, that, that could come in and knock my socks off at this point in my life. Well, you never know. Well, coming up tomorrow, Elaine remembers her life without money and whether she plans to give it all away one day. That's interesting. She also talks about her bid for an NBA team and what she thinks about professional sports right here in Las Vegas. We also will hear her thoughts on Donald Trump. But these days, she is staying very busy, Steve. She's one of the co-chairs of the L.A. County Museum of Art, and that's taking up a lot of her time these days. Also, on Facebook and social media, a lot of ladies want to know how she looks so amazing at 73. <laughs> she told me portion control and she walks a lot. She likes to walk. Takes self-discipline for yes, both. Yeah. Yes, yes. I wonder if Sean Connery is in the loop on that. <laughs> she actually said <laughs> she met him once and that uh, Steve uh, brought him to a party and uh, she said he was quite charming. But yeah, she's pretty special. Nice of her to give her time also. Absolutely. And tomorrow at 6, be sure you join us for more Elaine Wynn. <laughs>